Another key part of coastal management and the elements of our coastal zone are our coastal terrestrial areas, particularly those ones that um, sometimes hide a little bit, that aren't right straight on the beach, that aren't right straight on the ocean front. And that's the case here with the Santa Monica Mountains. Some of our coastal terrestrial areas are dominated by coastal plains. Others are dominated by uh, higher geological relief. And that's what we see here at the western end of the Santa Monica Mountains. Here we're looking straight south, due south. So just over these mountains, about six, seven miles of the crow flies is the ocean. So we're just a little bit east of campus. Um, and as we as we look at the mountains now, as we start to, to go from this relatively intact landscape, relatively unfragmented landscape, and as we start to pan down now, what you'll see is what we typically have done to much of our coastal uh, terrestrial coastal areas. So in this case, we are uh, just in Thousand Oaks, just in Newbury Park, and we can see a large amount of development going on here. So the, some of these developments started in the 1970s. Others were begun in the late 90s and built up into the early 2000s. And so this very intense development obviously clearly fragments our coastal sage scrub, fragments our coastal um, hillsides, etc., as we continue to turn and look, if we actually look straight down right now where we are, what you'll see is not just uh, suburbia, not just, uh, you know, in individual small houses or, or, well, large houses, but, but individual houses. What you see instead are large developments. So in this case, we have both a mix of uh, traditional housing and these mansion developments, these big mansions. And so this massive house right below us right now, as we look pretty much straight down, is one example of how we're using some of this land. Um, uh, this land has been, so th this part of the terrestrial zone has been completely transformed, right? So we've taken off all the native vegetation, all the, uh, the native hydrology and topography and everything, and we've turned it into essentially a moonscape. Um, this obviously has issues related to fire and, uh, and, and all kinds of other um, immediate natural resource management, but also it's very expensive. There's a lot of infrastructure here that's required to maintain these, uh, this single family massive home. And so that includes things like water, that includes things like sewage, that includes things like power. As we continue to pan around, we see there's some other giant McMansions here. And in this case, this one has not only did they completely nuke the landscape, but they also decided to plant their own non-native trees across the landscape and indeed vineyards and the like. So not only do we, um, not only do we have the issue of habitat fragmentation, we also have the issue of introduction of non-native species and non-indigenous uh, uh, critters of all shapes and sizes. As we continue to pan, so now we're looking, um, uh, uh, in increasingly uh, northwards here, we see now we have this mix. So now in, in newer developments, we don't have a contiguous landscape necessarily of urbanization. We have a mix. So here we have some open space. This is Conejo open space. This is a trail network. You can see a trail right there, actually several trails. Um, and so we have this, this mix, which is better for water quality, better for ecological functioning, obviously, more recreational opportunities. And then as we continue to, to, to pan, um, to the right as we continue to look uh, more northward now. Um, we're seeing both the end of the Santa Monica Mountains and we're also looking now to, uh, at the far horizon is the Oxnard Plain. So where campus is, where um, uh, mo much of our Ventura County agriculture happens. And now as we see now after this, this uh, uh, bit of intact landscape, we get into highly intensified uh, development. In this case, this is a relatively new development that went in in the uh, beginning of the late 1990s and is, is still being finished. We saw some of those McMansions, which are still going in. Um, and so uh, this this pocket, this, this, this habitat fragmentation is a key aspect about the coastal plain, but also this increasingly intensified, developed landscape. And as we go forward, one of the things we have, even though we preserve open space, even though we preserve um, a particular area of the ocean or the coast or the terrestrial zone, um, there's always this pressure to destroy and to convert that natural landscape into an intensified, um, concrete, human-dominated landscape. And so the, these pressures are real and they're part of the world of modern-day coastal marine management. So that's a little bit about some of our terrestrial areas that we don't think of as being part of coastal marine management, but are actually an essential part of a healthy, vibrant coast.